the Browns have not had a lot of success uh, drafting wide receivers. So uh, this is an area where they very well may decide to go. You, you've got Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, both big contracts, both uh, a little bit more veteran players. Who are some guys uh, that you know the Browns could be looking at as far as this year's draft goes? Well, I don't know that we necessarily expect them to go receiver early in the first round, but you know, if they were to surprise and, and go that direction, you know, Elijah Moore from Ole Miss, uh, I think would certainly uh, be on their radar, be on their short list of, of possibilities. Five nine and a half, hundred and eighty pounds, uh, a really electric athlete. For a lot of those same reasons that teams love uh, Jalen Waddle in the top 10. Uh, there's a lot of parallels with Elijah Moore, with what he offers. Speed, uh, he's a he's a 4-3 athlete. Uh, he can create after the catch. Uh, he led the FBS in catches per game last year with 10.8. They force-fed him the football, and Elijah Moore responded in a big way. So uh, a little smaller of a target, doesn't not as polished as an in, in the inter intermediary point, uh, part of the field. But he's a guy that uh, can win deep, he can win underneath, he can create with the ball in his hands. So uh, Elijah Moore would certainly be in that conversation. I think more likely, maybe we could see them go wide receiver day two, day three. And similar to corner, it's a position that stretches a, a little bit. And so they don't necessarily have to go early. They can wait till day two and still find a, a really quality receiver. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorites in the middle uh, of day two, that late, uh, late second round, early third round, Deami Brown, uh, North Carolina, six, uh, six foot and a half, 190 pounds. Uh, you love the speed, 444. He is probably the most skilled double move receiver in this draft. Uh, and, and that's a skill, uh, the ability to uh, settle your feet, use slight body movement, full defensive backs. He's very, very good at that. And he, he wins consistently deep, tracks the ball well. Um, and you know needs to eliminate some of the easy drops, but he he's a, he's a good tracker of the football and he can win downfield. So I think that's certainly going to be someone the the Browns have their eye on. Um, another player in that that mid day two range, uh, Amari Rogers from Clemson, who uh, is a fun player because you feel the play strength uh, when you watch him. It feels like there's a rumble pack attached uh, to uh, to the clicker five nine and a half two twelve. Uh, love the play strength, love the compete skills. He, he finds ways to get open, and then he creates after the catch. So uh, that, that's exactly what you're looking for with him. There's, there's some Jarvis Landry to his game, best in the slot, uh, just a really dependable player. And when you're talking uh, you know, outside the first two rounds, I think that's outstanding value for a talent like that.